All right, we're going to do some more tests with the Mini Pro chassis dyno. Um, this one we're going to look at uh, battery type, uh, age of the battery, and the state of charge of the battery. So let's move on, and um, uh, we're going to look at four different batteries. So I've got an old uh, three or well, approximately three year old uh, 6100C uh, battery that I cur currently use as my dyno test battery. Uh, you might say, why would you use such an old battery for doing your dyno testing? Well, it's basically because everything's relative. Uh, I'm charging the battery to the same state. I'm doing as much as I can to get everything as repeatable as possible. Uh, so the battery that you use is sort of irrelevant as long as it's charged to the same state and you do everything repeatably because you're just doing relative comparisons. Uh, I've also got a two-year-old 6150C, which is into retirement and may become my test battery. Um, and then a one-year-old, uh, same, these are the same batteries. One's two years old, one's one-year-old. And then lastly, we've got a new, uh, uh, 6400-120C, uh, high voltage LiPo, uh, 8.7 volts. So we're going to do three different batches of tests. We're going to charge it fully to 8.4, all of them, even the, 8.7 volt. Uh, then we're going to look at 90% charge, which is approximately 8.2 volts. So I'll be charged to the same static voltage. And then lastly, we'll take a quick look at uh, what we have to look forward to when we can all run 8.7 volt batteries. Uh, so first off, we got the 8.4. And uh, what you can see here is the four different batteries. Uh, the dyno test battery is the bottom one here. It's the purple line. Uh, the uh, uh, two-year-old 6150 is the line which is just slightly above it. Uh, the best one is the 6,001-year-old. These batteries are probably going to go into retirement here fairly shortly. They're starting to internal resistance is starting to uh, increase. And the blue line is the uh, high voltage pack charged 8.4. Uh, so you can see here that having an 8.7 volt pack doesn't really do you much good when you're char only charging it to 8.4. Um, this is also one of the low center of gravity batteries, as they call them, uh, which means it's actually more like a 5,000 pack uh, when you only charge it to 8.4. Uh, and it also has higher internal resistance than the, uh, the larger uh, capacity 8.4 pack. So you can see here we've got uh, our, our summary of our approximately our peak power, uh, the uh, uh, test battery that I use, or sorry, the, uh, um, the red line is the old 6000. Uh, has about 116 watts power output. The green line, which is the best battery, 125, um, 122 for the HV pack, and 115 for my uh, test battery. So I got about a 10 watt difference depending on which battery you're looking at. So if we look that look at that in terms of uh, the RPM versus time, again this is the uh, drum roller RPM here, uh, which to convert to kilometers per hour, uh, multiply it by 11.25, uh, and that will get you the uh, numbers in kilometers per hour. But all it's going to do is just change the scale. It's not going to change anything else. It's just a constant value you're multiplying by. So we can use this as an indication of what sort of speed we're going to see. So the uh, the best one uh, again is the uh, is the green guy, which is the uh, 8.4 volt 6150C pack. Um, he gets uh, out to 3.97 kRPM, so somewhere around 42, 43 kilometers per hour. Um, the uh, worst one is the uh, my test pack which uh, only gets out to 3.83 uh, uh, kRPM. So just remembering here that we're seeing a peak power of around 125 
watts uh, with the fully charged pack. So now let's look at what happens when we're only charged 8.2. So now at 8.2, um, we're getting, uh, oh, I didn't put that in there. Isn't that interesting? Uh, we're down under 120. I didn't actually click on the line to get the data summary. So unfortunately, but we can see here that we're only getting, uh, you know, basically the uh, uh, two packs, the uh, 6400 high voltage pack and the uh, my one year old uh, packs are developing about the same power. We're around 100, now uh, let's call it 115 watts. Um, and similarly, the other guys drop off with my test battery being the worst performer. So, what does that mean in terms of speed? Uh, you can see here now that we're uh, the maximum speed we're getting is 3.8. Uh, 3.89 to 3.9. That's for the uh, both the HV and the uh, 6000 pack. So uh, both are drawing about the same amount of current, uh, and the voltage is essentially the same. The uh, 8.07, 8.15. The resolution on the uh, voltage measurement isn't 100% uh, accurate. So these I would call pretty much the same. So that compared to, you know, our peak speed here is 3.9. If we go back to where we were before, uh, we were 3.97. So, um, you know, we've lost a little bit of speed and we're only, you know, fairly, fairly, uh, early into a, into a, a race. And, uh, you know, you probably be in the first minute, uh, one to two minutes of the race. So last but not least, what do we have to look forward to? Well, when we can take these HV packs and charge them to 8.7 and race them, uh, there will be a significant boost in performance. Uh, you can see here that we're going from 122 to 132. So we got a 10 watt increase in peak power. Uh, in terms of speed, uh, we're going from 4.05 to 4.17. Uh, so we've got uh, another couple kilometers an hour in, uh, in speed that we're going to be picking up as well. So I'm not sure when this day will arrive, but I assume it's got to be getting pretty close. So uh, that's all I wanted to deal with in this uh, video. So hope that gives you guys some insights. Basically what you want to do is get the pack with the lowest internal resistance and the most milliamp hours you can get. And that's going to give you the most bang for your buck. See you soon.